اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فَإِن تَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِن بَعْدُ حَتَّى تَنْكِهَا زَوْجًا غَيْرًا فَإِن تَلَّقَهَا فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْهِمَا أَن يَتَرَاجَآ اَن يَتَرَاجَآ اِن زَنَّا اَن يُقِيمَا حَدُودُ اللَّهِ وَتِلْكَ حَدُودُ اللَّهِ يُبَيِّنُهُا وَتِلْكَ حَدُودُ اللَّهِ يُبَيِّنُهَا لِقَوْمٍ يَعْلَمُونَ Dear friends, السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I recited سورة البقرة آیت نمبر 230 In this ayat, Allah tells us about the final divorce. This divorce make full and complete separation from the husband and wife. So, we read this one. Allah said, فَإِن تَلَّقَهَا فَإِن So if the husband he divorces his wife finally final divorce means the third divorce فَإِن تَلَّقَهَا So if the husband divorces his wife third time فَلَا تَحِلُّو So فَلَا تَحِلُّو لَهُ So the wife is not halal is not lawful for him فَلَا تَحِلُّو So she is not lawful for him لَهُ for him as wife so is no relationship as wife so this relationship has been finished membade after it after it mean after the divorce this final divorce so the the wife has no relationship with this husband hatta tan keha zawjan ghaira hatta until she can make nikah or she marries some other person as husband so if she marries other person for in tallaqaha and if that person who is the other person it mean the not the first uh, husband but the other husband for in tallaqaha if that other husband divorces her فَلَا جُنَاهَا عَلَيْهِ مَا Then there is no sinful on both of them. Both mean the wife and the first husband. اَنْ يَتَرَاجَعَا If they want to unite, so they are allowed to unite, it means they can remarry and do nikah again so 
ayyataraja so they can reunite remarry or do nikah and start their life again in zanna if they think if they feel ayyukima hadudullah that they will be in a position to keep the limits of Allah it means to abide the limits of Allah to fulfill the limits of Allah then there is not sinful that they can remarry and do nikah and start new life again وَتِلْكَ هَدُودُ اللَّهِ and these are the limits of Allah يُبَيِّنُهَا which Allah described completely and fully لِقَوْمِ يَعْلَمُونَ to the people who have knowledge so in this ayat Allah tells us the third divorce after that the relationship as husband and wife is totally broken down and finished so we can see in holy quran how beautifully allah tells us about the relationship as husband and wife and when there is the situation of separation and uh, Allah explained already in different ayat uh, so before if you look one ayat Allah tells about the first divorce then the second divorce then a third divorce in this ayat so this gives us a lesson that if there is the there is only solution of the relationship of husband and wife so need to separate or to make the uh, third divorce so then it is not good to give the third three all three divorce at a time so the divorce must be done with intervals so that after first divorce maybe the husband and wife they can understand that whatever they are doing like separation will not be good for them in future so they have more time to think about that and they can reunite and then start their relationships as husband and wife so it is good for them so they can have more time to think and reunite similarly when after the second divorce also they have the time to rethink about their decision uh, of separation so then they can find the solution that they have to stay together and uh, reunite so for that purpose they can do nikah again and they can start their life as husband and wife again so Allah gave a beautiful chance to rethink two times then uh, if there is no solution like even Allah said also in in Surah Noor also that uh, if the situation or the dispute among between the husband and wife is is so much that is difficult to settle down between them then they can try to find the person 
who is reasonable person from the wife side and reasonable person from the husband side and those person they can sit together they can understand the real situation and then they can advise both of them and to reunite so there may be the solution also they can find a good solution and after their advice this life uh, may be beautifully possible to start again so this is the other solution which allah told us in holy quran also so even when uh, there is uh, no any other chance and uh, then uh, there is only the final solution and that is separation so where uh, there is uh, uh, only hate among themselves and they can't stay together so then is uh, separation is need then the separation must be done not to all divorces at once but one by ones one by one so, so divorce must be done one by one like with interval not all three divorces at once that is the main thing which Allah wants because the Holy Prophet وسلم, he also dislikes uh, the all divorces must be done at one time so this way is very important now in this ayat we understand also that when the third divorce or the final divorce is done so after that this woman is not lawful for the first husband uh, as a wife Allah said if they if if there is uh, the chances like uh, when this woman she will marry to other person and if other person divorces his wife then this wife thinks that uh, uh, she wants to go uh, again to remarry the first husband and Allah said there is not sinful but they can do it so if they there is only one limit that Allah said if they are able to uh, fulfill the uh, limits of Allah what Allah told them they have to follow that if they are to if they are able to fulfill the limits of Allah then they can remarry and they can start their life again and this life will be really the same as they started their life in the beginning when they first of all married so same like that the husband will have the divorce three times as uh, the same uh, uh, life will be that and so it is like a new life will start but Allah is telling us that they must keep in mind that they have to fulfill the limits of Allah because very important point so we understand from here uh, that uh, the woman after divorces after the final divorce so she is uh, able to marry other person as husband and then if that person uh, gave the divorce or that person dies uh, so then if that wife she uh, decide or think that she wants to go to the first husband so they are allowed and uh, uh, but the condition is that one they have to fulfill the limits of Allah so that is the only thing which is allowed <coughs> but uh, we have seen in our <coughs> in our society in Islamic society sometimes uh, some people they divorce 
their wife and then they think that we have divorced our wife uh, like uh, when when we were in in angry situation or when we were not fit mentally or something was there so according to sharia if a person who divorces uh, the wife like final divorce if they are just to do and uh, uh, when if it was done it was done in the situation when the husband was angry so divorce will be valid so uh, after the third divorce if the husband they think that they they want to uh, keep the wife again uh, and uh, then it is seen in the society so they those husband so it is a strange thing those husband they go to some people and then they say we want that you you please uh, marry my wife so that that husband request the other person for marriage uh, of for nikah with his previous wife like because after the divorce the relationship was broken down now she that they want to rejoin again so that husband request the other person please remarry my wife and then uh, you can after having the relationship with my wife just after um, then you have to divorce my wife and then i will remarry to her so if this agreement they do with someone and the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu sallam he curses on these people he said these people who do like this type of arrangement or this type of uh, uh, you know the agreement so they are under curse of allah because uh, they are uh, crossing the limits of Allah because according to this ayat and according to the hadith uh, only after the final divorce the woman is allowed to marry other person so other person will not be should not be aware or should not be known and they have not to tell him that uh, they they want to uh, they want to uh, the this marriage and just uh, just for the divorce and uh, this is for limited time and uh, he has to give the divorce and this is uh, like because they want to remarry again so this type of thing if is if it is described before the other person who is the next husband and uh, then and these people the first husband and the wife both will be under curse of allah because in uh, arabic we call it halala and this halala when it is done like with conditional and uh, the second husband if he is told about this condition that it is halala and uh, and uh, he has to give the divorce also and so then they, these people first husband and this wife they are under curse of allah so this way the best way which the sharia describes so that is the only thing that the next husband the second husband uh, should not uh, known uh, about that one and uh, the the woman she marries that husband and then if that husband if there are a situation that if he uh, divorces her uh, or he dies then uh, the woman is allowed to remarry the first husband so that is the only solution so that is 
in Islam. But if some people they do like uh, like uh, say the other husband with conditional marriage, so then those people and they will be under curse of Allah and this type of relationship is not allowed in Islam because they have done it mostly you can see in some places some people who even they are Islamic scholar and they they take money and they do a halala and this type of business some people they have done and that is haram and uh, the money what they will get is haram also and, uh, and those people uh, they are under curse of Allah so this is the best way is only that one which Allah described in this ayat that فَإِن uh, تَلَّقَهَا <clears throat> so if uh, the husband he divorces his wife the final divorce, the third divorce. When it is done, فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ So the woman is not lawful for his, hus for, uh, uh, his husband. So husband has no any relationship, all relationship as husband and wife cut off and finished. So مِمْبَادِ After it, after the third divorce, the relationship has been finished. Hatta tankiha zaujan gaira until she will marry the other husband, then fa in talakaha and if that husband divorces her, fala junaha alayhima and then if these two la first husband and wife ayyata raja if they want to reunite and remarry again in Zanna. Uh, having the condition that uh, uh, they will uh, they uh, they will they will have to hadud Allah that they will have to fulfill the limits of Allah then they are allowed to remarry tilka hadudullah and Allah described the limits uh, which are the limits of Allah regarding the rights of husband and wife so you Allah described them completely and clearly for the people who are who have the knowledge. So that is the main thing which have been described in this ayat. So uh, one uh, at the time of Holy Prophet وسلم, one woman her name was Aisha bint Abdurrahman. So Aisha, she was the daughter of Abdurrahman and she was the wife of Rafa'a bin uh, Wahab radiallahu ta'ala anhu and uh, Rafa'a, he divorced her like the final divorce, three time divorced so she had no relationship with the relationship with Rafa'a finished then she uh, married the other person uh, Abdurrahman ibn Zubair she married to her uh, and she married to him and then then she came to Holy Prophet and she said the, my new husband uh, Abdurrahman ibn Zubair so he he is uh, not a not having the uh, like uh, he is a weak person so, so sexually and he is uh, not uh, a good person like uh, so this way I don't want to stay with him so the Holy Prophet then uh, when he when she told this one then this ayat came and uh, and the Prophet وسلم, he decided for her that she must go back to a uh, new husband and she must stay there and uh, until that husband will have the sexual relationship and after that if she wants then then is possible but she have to stay with that husband also and uh, 
so then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent her to the second husband uh, uh, house who was the new husband because the first he divorced uh, her so this way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent her to her husband abdur rahman ibn zubair radiyallahu ta'ala anhu so in this ayat allah tells us completely that uh, the the woman is also allowed if the husband uh, who 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 is unable to fulfill the sexual need of the woman then the woman is allowed to take the divorce uh, she will go to the islamic court and she will tell the whole situation and on the basis of the real proofs and then the court will be in a position to position to divorce like finish the nikah and then and then is like then woman she will be able to uh, um, remarry the other the first husband also so that is the situation if happen then is allowed so we understand from this ayat that uh, the oh, the the person who is the husband should not uh, give the three divorce at once but they have to give divorce like one by one with interval also that is the best way if there is only need the divorce but they have they have to try and uh, to rejoin and reunite as allah mentioned in the previous ayat uh, they have to reunite after first divorce then uh, maybe after second divorce having the nikah again uh, so they have to reunite because allah likes that they must reunite and have to stay together stay with themselves and they have to uh, restart the relationship again and uh, try to tolerate uh, try to have patience and, uh, and just have good relationship so that allah wants actually so this way <clears throat> some person they say why the women they have not given the right to divorce so islam in sharia it has been uh, described completely that uh, the first thing first reason is that one because the woman when when there is the problem within the relationship like a little bit problem and she feels and when she feels something then she becomes more angry and she becomes angry quickly so this is a reason that that's quick angerness makes her mind to divorce so this way if the woman was to given the uh right of divorce then uh, uh, when little bit uh, she becomes angry and that time she was to divorce uh, uh, her husband so this way she was not given the uh, right to divorce this is first reason the second is uh, reason that is uh, told in sharia that the woman she is weak in decision so the decision is like when she decides about something and after some time she feels oh, oh this i have done a little bit wrong so this is uh, not good so so this is the mostly the woman they do so because in sharia it is said that the woman is weak in decision so this way uh, so she has not given the right to divorce the third reason which is uh, explained in sahih bukhari muslim tirmizi ibn maja abu daud and masnad ahmad and in that one that uh, that is described that she is uh, not wise because is wisdom or his mind uh, mind capability is not uh, like as uh, as much as the man has so she is weak so this way she has not given the right to divorce so this way 
this way she has not given the right to divorce so the main thing is that we learn from this ayat that the after the third divorce the woman will not be halal will not be lawful for that husband who was the first one until she marries other husband if other husband uh, divorces her and uh, then uh, after finishing the time period like we call it iddat and after that she can join or reunite with the first husband and if they will be able to uh, fulfill the limits of allah which have been described completely so then they are allowed so we request allah to to give us uh, the purity and uh, for uh, the power to fulfill the rights and responsibilities as husband and as wives so that uh, we may be with within the uh, within this life we must be peaceful nice according to the teachings of sharia so that at the day of judgment uh, we will face allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam very nice way so and we enter into jannah inshallah amen